Hey guys, so today I'm going to share with you a basically catch-all kind of video about these new Michaels Organize It. Um, they're basically like planner things. They're very similar, like eerily similar to Erin Condren products. And I know that there has been a lot of talk on the We Love EC page on Facebook about where to find them, what they look like, their sizing, uh, how they go together, that kind of jazz. So this video is basically going to be kind of a review or an overview of a lot of the products in the line, as well as uh, how to find them or some tips and tricks and um, how they fit like with Erin Condren products and stuff. So it's going to be kind of a long one, so I'm just going to try and get into it. The first thing I'm going to do is talk about the binder. So all of the products in this line can fit into this binder. It's 9 by 5 inches by 8 and, uh, and a quarter inches right there. And they have three different colors. They have this tan, they have a black, and they have a white. So it's a four-ringed binder that is really sturdy. It's kind of stiff to move right now. And this is where all of the products go in to it. So as you can see, these books have like the four punches. So these books come with the possibility of getting one of these like fabric covers. The books, I think, let me check my receipt. The binders are $5 and the covers are $8. So there's a bunch of different patterns that look very similar to like Erin Condren covers, but I decided to go with this one and it says take a journey and explore something new. I have not tried to put this on the uh, book yet, but I'll do it right now in this video. So it kind of just looks like a regular old like book cover that you would get back in like elementary school. So I'm assuming it just kind of slides in here. Very snug. All right. So it just goes on one side. And we're gonna figure out how to get it on the other. This is definitely really difficult. I didn't realize how hard this was gonna be to get these covers on. There we go. So when you have the cover on, it kind of looks like this. And it's kind of difficult to get it to stay flat, but that is the general look of the cover. As I was saying, they have a bunch of different colors and or covers, and it's cool because you can just change them out if you want to use a different cover. Next up are the books you can choose from, and I'm pretty sure there are eight in total. Each of them are $3.99, so $4. And I only chose these five because they seemed the only ones that I was actually interested in. So let's go through them and I'll show you the insides and exactly how they work. First up is travel, and when you open it, it has this really cute saying, which is definitely very Erin Condren-esque. And then the first page has a packing list for all the different things you would need to pack and a travel budget. And then it has a bunch of sheets for travel expenses and goes into places I want to visit and like whether or not you have to have a reservation. And then this is for travel plans for like flights and trains and any sort of transportation you need. And then it goes into the travel log. And this is basically the rest of the book is just travel logs where you can write in where you were, what it was like, the food you liked there, how the weather was, and like the favorite things you saw and the best moments. My biggest complaint about this book is it really only is good for one trip and there are tons of spaces left for destinations but there's only a couple of pages for like travel budget so if you have like a really long trip this would be a really great book but if you do a lot of smaller ones it seems like it's only good for one trip the next book i got is the budget book and it has the same cute little like quote on the inside but this one is different and then it goes into a year budget so you can write in whatever bill you have and then check off like totals and stuff for the rest of the year. Then there is a section where you can write the month for your specific budget and like what kind of budgeting goals you have and if you have a planned like amount of savings you want to save and then what you actually saved and then it goes into bills for that month. 
And then I have some pages for expenses so you can write down how much you spend on like Etsy sticker shops or anything that you need to keep track of. This is probably my favorite part of this book is the budget graph so you can determine how much you spend on each of these certain things to really see like I spend way too much on shopping so I need to like budget less for that or try to like lower that graph. And then it repeats so each month has its own like overview of the, the bills page, the expenses, and the budget graph. Next up is fitness and nutrition. It has another cute quote on the inside. And then this book is for an eight week health plan. So you start with all your starting weights and your goals and you just write everything you want to be able to accomplish in kind of like a reward section if you uh, accomplish all your goals and a cool notes page to write any details or anything you want down. So then it breaks down by week. So you have your weekly goals and your exercise schedule and then you can write your daily food logs, how much water you get, how much sleep you have, and your exercise is down here. So it has enough pages for the whole week. Then you can review your week and like write a little journal entry about how you think it went, what you want to do better, and everything like that, and kind of write your week. And then do the same thing all over again. And it has enough for the entire eight week planning like goal session. I really like this to-do list. It's quite simple, but I think it'll be really effective. It says just get it done. And each of the pages are just really simple line to-do list pages. It has a place for the date up at the top. Then you can check and write in priorities and then the task and to check when it's done. And it's just a big book full of task lists and checklists, which is super helpful if you have a lot of to-do lists and you want a nice way to organize it. Finally, the last one I got was the calendar. And I really liked this because it wasn't dated, so it means you can start whenever you want, but you still have to fill in like the days of the week. So no matter what year you're picking one of these up, you can use it as long as you just write everything in. And then for the week sections, they look like this where you write in the week at the top and then fill them all in. I definitely like my Erin Condren better than this because I feel like this is very to-do list oriented in my opinion. Like I would write stuff I got to do during the week rather than like events or meetings I have but it's still super cute. The color scheme is really nice. They also had a lot of accessories you can choose from so I only picked up a few but there were like washi tape things and some other like stickers and notepads but these are the ones I picked up. The first thing is this small bookmark. I don't have a magnetic bookmark for my planner yet so I just got this because I was really excited about the prospect of it and it just opens like so and you can bookmark things. It does what a bookmark does. The next thing I picked up were these uh, Craft It organized stickers and they are removable and they remind me so much of the Erin Condren ones it's not even funny. It has the blank different colors and I brought a ruler so I can measure them and show you guys. So they are almost one and a half inches long and they are a little over a quarter of an inch wide. So they would fit perfectly in the Erin Condren. They seem to be like made for it. This book has a bunch of sheets of just the plain ones, like four sheets or so. Has some of these like polka dots, a couple of sheets of those. And then it has these like border frame looking ones. And the rest of the book is the borders and frames. This other book is also removable and everything's about the same size. And these have like arrows and hearts and like birthday appointment stickers. So very much like the stickers you get at the back of the Erin Condren Life Planner. Lots of those. And then these like vacation special day stickers. I wanna measure how wide these are. These are also one and a half inches so they would fit in the Erin Condren squares as well. There's like day off stickers and date night appointment stickers. Just a nice little book of them. And then the last thing I picked up were these sticky notes and it has the hole punches so you can fit it into your binder with the rest of these books if you wanted to. And these just seemed really cute, great way to like write little to-do notes and have cute little accessories on your books and I'm sure that they will work in the Erin Condren as well. As far as being sticky, I haven't peeled them off yet. 
and they seem to be about the same quality as the Target Dollar Spot ones, if not a little bit better. They do seem to have a little bit more stick to them, and they are made on thicker type of paper, so that's really nice. I've heard from a lot of people who have gotten the like binder that you can't fit that many books into it, so I thought I'd give it a shot on film to show you guys how many you can fit in comfortably. So here is one. We got a second one. I'm thinking it's only going to be two with a couple of accessories. So definitely keep that in mind if you want to use this system and you want to have... This one's not fitting. If you want to have like the binder part of this that two can really only fit. It's about to get really snug. You can technically fit three, but it's a little hard to open up the pages and like turn them. But three does fit, so three is like your limit. And I don't know if I can fit any of the sticky note stuff on top of it. Yeah, it gets really tight. But let's see if we can get this. Okay, so you can probably fit three and the sticky notes but I would probably only do two. They also sell notebooks that are just like plain lined notebooks and they have ones that have like colored paper on the inside and brown paper on the inside which were really cool. They were just blank like 80 sheet books with a bunch of different like colored papers on the inside so. I know that these books have been pretty hard to find so I wanted to do a giveaway and give away a budget book and some of the stickers and a set of the sticky notes. So I'm going to have a link in the description bar for you to head over to my lifestyle blog if you want to enter this giveaway and have a chance to win this. There's also a link in the description bar for photos of all of the barcodes and the SKU numbers because I know I had a really hard time locating these in my Michaels. I actually drove a half hour to one that we called and made sure that they had them. So there's going to be a link in the description for any photos or any information that could possibly help you locate these yourself. Overall I think that it's a really cool set and I like to see that other companies are starting to get on the choose your own planning adventure sort of bandwagon. I definitely think there's a lot that can be approved on them. They don't really seem to be as perfect as I would like them. There's stuff I like about the books and stuff I don't. And I definitely plan on doing a follow-up video to show you exactly how I'm using them and how I get along with them. Kind of like a compare and contrast sort of video with the Erin Condren. But that is going to be it for this video. If you have any questions about any of the products, if you want dimensions or like photos of close-ups or anything, definitely let me know in the comments and I can get those to you. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!